Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about multiplexers in digital electronics course and digital logic design course and switching theory and logic design course. In this video, we have to discuss about three concepts. First of all, definition of the multiplexer, functional block diagram of the multiplexer and applications of the multiplexer. So these three concepts that we are discussing in this video. So this is the functional block diagram of a multiplexer. A multiplexer can also denoted as MUX. A multiplexer is a combinational circuit that can take 2 power n number of input lines and it produce only one output line. This output line can be selected among the 2 power n number of input lines by using n number of selection input lines. So that means by using these n selection input lines we have to select only one input line among the 2 power n number of input lines. Whatever the input line that is selected that input line can be treated as output line. So that means to determine one output line among the 2 power n number of input lines we have to use n selection input lines. This operation can be done when the enable input value E is equal to 1. So if the enable input value E is equal to 1, the multiplexer can perform its operation. When the enable input value E is equal to 0, the multiplexer does not perform its operation. Okay. So we can say that a multiplexer is a combinational circuit that can accept 2 power n number of input lines. Among that 2 power n number of input lines, only one input line can be selected as output line by using n number of selection input lines. So this is the, this can be done only when the enable input E value is equal to 1. Okay. Next one, a multiplexer can also be called as data selector. Okay. So that means we have to select one data among the 2 power n number of data lines. Hence, we can say that a multiplexer can also be called as data selector. A multiplexer can also be called as multi-input and a single output combinational circuit. This is 2 power n number of input lines are there. Hence, we can say that multi-input and it can produce only one output line. So we can say that a multiplexer can be treated as multi-input and a single output combinational circuit. Next, suppose here 8 input lines are there. Among the 8 input lines, one input line can be selected as output line by using 3 selection input lines. So, 8 can be written as 2 power 3. So, 2 power 3 is nothing but 2 power n. So where n is equal to 3. So n is nothing but number of selection inputs. Whenever 8 input lines are there, we have to require 3 selection input lines. Whenever 4 input lines are there, so then how many number of selection inputs are there? 2 selection inputs are there. 16 input lines are there. So, how many number of selection inputs? 
So four selection inputs are there. So n number of selection input lines are required to select only one input line among the two power n number of input lines. That input line can be treated as output line. So this is the simple operation in multiplexer. So this is the functional block diagram of a multiplexer. This is the simple definition of a multiplexer. Now we can go for the applications of multiplexer. A multiplexer can be used as data selector. Multiplexer can be used as used for data routing. Next, multiplexer can be used for operation sequencing. Next, parallel to serial conversion, waveform generator, logic function generator. So, in the place of logic gates, a multiplexer can be used to generate the logical expression. For that purpose, we have to use logic function generator. In that logic function generator, we have to use multiplexer. Waveform generator. To generate the waveforms, we have to use multiplexer. To convert the parallel data into serial data, we have to use multiplexer. To perform the sequence of operations, we have to use multiplexer. Routing. Routing, may, routing of data can be done with the help of multiplexer. Selecting of only one data among the two power n number of data lines. For that purpose, we have to use multiplexer. So, in these six applications, we have to use multiplexer. Next, we can go for 2 by 1 and 4 by 1 multiplexers in the next video. So, thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel after subscribing my YouTube channel. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts. So thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.